Hey there, so I want to show you how you can export a Camtasia project as a SCORM package. So I have just a sample 10 second video project here on my timeline. And when I'm ready to produce it, I'm going to go up here to the share menu and I'm going to choose local file. And from this drop down, you'll want to make sure to choose custom production settings. Click next, choose MP4, smart player, HTML5. And then on this page, um, the one thing I'd have you check is under options. If you have a table of contents or captions or quizzing and so forth in your video, this particular example does not. But if it does, just make sure to have that there are check boxes next to the ones that you want to make sure to include in the SCORM package or in your produced video. So since I don't have any of those, I'm just going to uh, leave things as is. Click on next. Here is where you can enable SCORM. So by default, it's probably turned off. Uh, so make sure you put a check mark here next to SCORM. That will enable this options button. So if you click on that, this will take you here. This is the identifier key for the course information. Uh, you can give it a title. Uh, I did a sample one earlier, so I'm just gonna call this one test two. And uh, description, again, it's optional. You can put a description in as well as a subject. I put video and education last time, so I'll leave that alone. Uh, version, this is where it's kind of up to your uh, CMS or your, or your um, learning management system. So I'm not sure which one you're gonna want here. I'm gonna choose the 2004 second edition, just to leave it on there. Uh, I could give the title for the lesson information. And then I'll leave viewing percentage required. I'm going to leave it at 100%. But again, you can adjust that with the slider. Uh, and then at the bottom is where you choose for the package options. I typically would recommend producing both a zip file and unzip files. I'll say OK. And on this next page, I'm just going to call this one uh, SCORM test 2. And I already have a SCORM test folder created, so I'm just going to leave it in there and click on next or finish. My apologies. Since this is a short video, it's going to go pretty quickly. It's going to launch uh, a preview of that video. So I'm just actually going to close that. Uh, if I come back to Camtasia, I can click on this open production folder. And this is going to show me all of the produced files. This zip project right here. That's the one that you're going to want to import into your uh, learning management system. And I actually have a sample. We have a test site for uh, Canvas. So I'm going to show you how to do that in there. So this is uh, just a sample course I have, video and education. And over here I've enabled SCORM. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the SCORM link. It gives me an upload option. You can see this is the one I tested a little bit ago. So I'm going to click on Upload, and I'm going to go to that Test 2, which I just produced, and I'm going to grab this zip file. I'll say Open, and it's going to unpackage it. It's going to give me the option here that uh, for Test 2, I can choose if I want to import it as a graded assignment or an ungraded. Uh, it also gives me the option to preview it if I want to. I'll go ahead and hit Go, and I used it as a graded assignment which means if I come over here to my assignments, it's not published yet. So if I go to assignments and you're going to see a bunch of sample stuff in here, here is, ooh, and it's set at 100 points. I didn't want it to be 100 points. So I'm actually going to edit this and go to more options. Uh, I could give it a description here if I wanted to, but I'm actually going to change this to say two points and I want it to be points instead of percentage. Uh, I could give it a due date if I want to, but once I hit save and publish, it is now live. This is what students would see. They'd be able to see the video as embedded right here into the course. And then since it is a graded one, it would give them a score based on the percentage of how much they watched of that video. So if I come over here to my grade book, I can then uh, scroll across here because there's a bunch of test things in here. Here's that first one I did, test one, and here is test two out of two points. So these are uh, fake students that we've added in here. Uh, once they would log in and watch that, then it would populate their score here based out of how many points. So 
Hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if you have other questions. Thanks.